guys! My name is Tash and welcome back to my channel, Happy Artist. Today I am going to dive into the deep a little bit. I'm actually part of a family of divers, so yes, the whole breathing underwater with a tank on your back and all the rest of that, it's a lot of fun. And today, something that has inspired me is the jellyfish. But first off, I'm going to share the mistakes that I have made with this project. <laughs> There are a few. So this one I have got like a charcoal background that I was working with. I didn't want to go for the typical, you know, jellyfish in a blue ocean sort of idea. Thought I'd try and do something a little different. So I'm going to use a few different techniques on this painting. For the jellyfish head, you put a little bit of paint on the canvas and then you blow the paint in the direction that you want. Now you can do this just normal blowing on the canvas. You can use straws, you can use a small thin pipe or tube, that's what I've used, found it a little bit more malleable. I don't have one of those crafters palette things yet, so to move the paint around I just cut up the lid of an ice cream box. You can see I'm a little bit of a perfectionist with trying to make sure the paint is on all the corners. Okay, so for the head of the jellyfish. You're going to pour a little bit of whatever base color you need. You're going to need a little bit more than this. This was my first mistake because this is what's going to carry your paint where you need it to go. Mistake number two was the shape that I chose and where I chose to start the head. I also didn't put enough of the base color on, which is going to carry the orange through the charcoal. So you can see here, all I'm doing is fighting with trying to create the head and getting more and more and more paint on this canvas. Eventually my colors just drown into each other. My string pull tentacles worked quite nicely though. String pull, say so what? This is where you're using a string that you lay down in whatever squiggly form you want, but when you then pull it in a straight line, it creates a, a, sh a shape, basically like what it's doing here. Take number two. So, this is exactly the same canvas. I have now covered it in a thinned down house primer paint, basically. Thinned it down with the same medium that I use with the rest of my paints, and now I'm hoping that the plain white is going to work, and I've got a lot more paint, so here I am hoping that it's gonna carry the head of the jellyfish like I want. Mm, it doesn't work. What you'll see, is that because I have thinned down the white paint so much, it's actually become lighter. And probably because it doesn't have the same sort of properties either as what acrylic paint does. I mean, primer does have a whole bunch of other stuff in it. So what is happening here is whatever paint I put on this canvas, it's heavier than the white and just sinks down into the bottom. It drowns. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And you can clearly see that it's, no matter what I do, <laughs> it's not working. So now I decide, let me try and salvage this painting. Let me try and do something completely different and see what happens with it. This is where I start drawing lines and all sorts of other things on the canvas. Yep, my go-to technique, the swipe with a paper towel.
I took so long here that the white paint started to dry. That's why it's now starting to stick to everything else I'm doing. I'm getting frustrated now. Now, to try and salvage this, all I'm going to do is mix the colors over the paint completely. This is something that I have found actually does work quite well because at least in this way I haven't done anything specific and it's a really beautiful background that is dried and ready to be painted on on my next project. Give us a try if you really find that what you're doing isn't working. Rather mix the paints still while they're all wet so that you have a level surface to work on next time. Third time lucky! You can see I've learned from my mistakes now. I'm using a lot more of the carrying paint that I'm wanting, in this case the white and a lot less of the actual color that I want as the head of the jellyfish, in this case the orange and the red, and a little bit of the gold. Also, the harder you blow, the faster the paint is gonna move and the less control you have over it. If you blow quite softly, It'll work quite nicely. Just one little tip. These little pipes do tend to start to create a little bit of saliva and you don't want the water on your paint or on your canvas. So you will need to shake this off or shake it out from time to time. That's why I actually alternate between two different ones so it gets the opportunity to dry. For my main jellyfish, I wanted him to have a little bit more of the white tentacles, whereas the rest of them are going to have the color tentacles that I'm creating here. You'll notice it's not the exact same sort of pattern on these tentacles as the others. Main reason being is because I'm pulling the string through a dry canvas. There isn't a wet base that I'm pulling the colors through. If you want a more even pull, then you would need to lay a wet paint down first. So once the one, two or three colorful bigger tentacles are done, I then literally just lay the string that I'm using in a straight line, straight-ish line, but I don't pull the string. Watch. I literally just lay it down on the canvas and then pick it back up again. Have you guys tried making jellyfish before? If you have and you've got a different technique that you found worked even better, please let me know about it. I'd love to try that as well. 
don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. At least that way when my videos come out, you'll be notified. And here is the close-up. Look at these beauties. I love this. Look at that. And I didn't even use any cell activators, and yet there are a few cells forming there. I love how each one is just slightly different. Still similar, but slightly different as well. And that is my first finished project of an ocean creature. What did you like about this one? Did you like that I had shown you two or three or four or five mistakes that I'd already made? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned quite a lot from it. I definitely learned quite a lot for these. And to share a little bit more, this landed up being a gift for one of my family members, which I think she liked it. Have a wonderful day. Ciao for now. So I'm going to use a different... No. Um, but you put paint, you, mm, yeah. what you'll see, ooh, la, 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 la. when you line it down on the canvas, line it down, 